by 10. If you move around three times, you divide by 1,000. You understand what I mean? Now I move around once. It means a decimal point not come out for here. Come to be for this way. Which is the remainder of 15 over 10. Remember, I say if you move around once, now over 10. If to see maybe another number like 5, 5, 7, uh, something like this, you can move around twice like this, now over 100. If you move around three times like this, now over 1,000. And uh, so now, now just 15 with dinner. So we just move around one. If you move around one, come front like this, it means they get 15.0. And 15.0 is the same thing as 15. I just declare and make everything sweet to you. Ahead. So now, if you get 15 points, 15 over 10, this one, if you, if you still reduce this number now, Abby, if you still reduce it, because it gets on the way if you go inside 15 and still go inside 10. That means I'm waiting for that thing. Put that for comment section. You get one number if you go inside 15 and still go inside 10. That's the number if you still go inside 10. Waiting for that number. Put up a comment section if it's sharp. Yeah, those are not sharp now. You don't get them now. Not five. So five goes into 15. How many times? Now three times. Five, ten, fifteen. This is not three times. Five still if you go inside ten. How many times? Two times. Five, ten. Two times. So that means 15 over 10. You don't reduce them, reduce them as three over two. This three over two can and go up again. But now 1.5 now you change to three over two. You understand? I'm gonna get 25 to the power of three over two this is conform within the call under indices the law of indices we won't apply now they call a fractional index because three over two now fraction index now exponent index now power anything with the up then we will call index or power or exponent so fractional index you see fraction with the on top uh -huh. so when you get see the model if i get a is power of m over n which you have see this one now resemble this one 25 resemble a three over two you know, m over n the denominator now you go change to become the nth root. Why? Because now n with the and then we call it nth root. If not q, it will be q root. If not hundred, it will be hundred root. If not three, it will be cube root. If not four, it will be fourth root. If not two, it will be square root. And n will change to become we will go nth root of this particular a will be the whole number all raised to the power of m. So similarly, this two will change to what you call the square root because now two. So two no go need there. Square root of this 25 all to the power of 3. As you see, don't you see the answer already? <laughs> Square root of 25 now, it's 5. I don't see a combination of 5 go full today. 5. 5 raised to the power of this 3. Wait to be 5 raised to the power of 3. It means 5 times 5 times 5. 5 times 5 now, it's 25. 25 times 5 now, it's We are put up a comment section. Man, don't say that me and you solve this thing. You enjoy the video, Abby. I have a share and I make other people wait. <laughs> Never see and make them follow see and not say if you make things easier for you. Let me be instructor Allison, the math and science tutor in pigeon English. If you know, say your 